Welcome guys. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make use of an Android virtual device and exactly what an Android virtual device is. I'm going to actually be explaining that along the line. So hopefully if you got um, any question along this video on, on this video, please leave it in the comment section. And guys, let's dive in. So um, to make use of an Android virtual device, open an Android Play Store and then go ahead and search for um, virtual android app or um, android virtual device or android virtual app then uh, once you search for it scroll down all of these are actually adverts on the top all of these are adverts so um, scroll down choose the exact one you want right here this is actually the one i make use of you can make use of the virtual phone system and there are other ones okay there are no other ones i think these two and then this one also but i'm um, actually making use of this one right here so you can see the name um it's actually by vm tech vm speak tech so once you have it downloaded go ahead and click on open i just have it downloaded so um for the first time this is actually what it displays and now click on agree and then if you are making use of this for the first time you actually need to run another android os on this device so it actually clone clones your android os dual parallel and virtual and then you can even do much more with it so if you are ready to start using this click on this vmware and on default you have um these two android version pre-installed for you um android version 7.1 uh, and then also android 10 so anyone you want just go ahead and choose so that you start making use of the application this is actually upcoming anyway but this is already pre-installed on your device and you can also download this one to make use of android version 9 but i think i'm going to make use of the pre-installed one and then once you okay click on next and then you have to actually select um, any uh, resolution for your screen if you choose a smaller one it actually means it's going to give you a smaller resolution and it's going to be small but for my device case i think i'm actually going to settle with the default one that is already selected you can actually choose any one but on default it's going to give you the pre um the preferred one for your device so whichever device you're using is going to choose a preferred um, resolution for you so if you already click on next and then you can actually remain rename this to anything you want now let me say i'm going to call this um you read um in, in short form of motorola so now if you're done click on start and it's going to start installing the file system and it's actually going to take one to two minutes it's not actually going to take up to two minutes but just allow you to install so we are going to come back once this installation is complete all right guys immediately your installation is complete it's going to bring you to the home page like this and now you can do further things with your device so first i'm going to click on this drawable area to bring in my menu uh, you can actually see how it displays just like an android right and if you click on the gallery it's probably going to be empty because you do not have anything inside so i'm going to go ahead and back out now um to start making use of this um effectively or smoothly now um let me go back there are multiple things you can do here you can make use of the camera you can import contact you can download see your gallery um, edit your keyboard the phone and the settings a whole lot of things just like you can do on your android device now um to start making use of application or to start installing application right here all you need to do is to download the application on your android device now let me show you guys something Now this is my Android device and these are all the application on my Android device. There are so many applications on my Android device. And now um, on your VMware, you're also going to have the same amount of application, but you actually need to allow this to display or to be installed. Now to be able to install all this application or any application, you need to download it to your main Android device and then you import it right here and then you can make all of the changes based on what you want now to bring any uh, application just click on add apps and you're going to see different applications now let me go ahead and import this um, application uh, you know what 
let me import uh the authenticator or let me import any desk i'm actually looking for something very light you notice it said imported right now let me import this um ar sticker emoji it says error that is because that is mainly it came with the phone now let me import this 365 and scroll down a little bit import this bing and it's being imported it's going to take a while so once they are complete they will show imported this is still importing so you're going to allow it to import and complete now it's completed whenever it shows green it means it has been imported so any application you want right here you can either scroll or you search for the name of the application let's say whatsapp right is now displaying all the whatsapp i have and i can also import that but then let me close that out and go back now this is my device right now um this is the any desk i imported and this is the bing i also imported so um this is a 365 i also imported and you can also open them and you can make use of them just like you do on your mobile device or on your main application but then it actually sees this as a new installation whenever it opens so normally i'm already logged in but this is now displaying as if i am a new user so i can just click on ask anything and then it's seeing this as a new user so i am currently now logged in and it's going to authenticate and display all of the information i see if i am a new person so i can now start making use of this at will but um just the same way you do on your application you can always click here and then close the app you notice they can easily minimize and you can easily open another application and it does the same thing for you very simple and smooth and now guys um more things you can do with uh, your virtual wear is that whenever you want to make use of multiple application you use this whenever you want to take a screenshot and so many privileges that you have on your main uh phone it doesn't actually apply on your vm where you actually have to get it and do it differently and then um you notice this section where it says uh um add files right when you click on this add files you can easily import an existing file from this now let me go ahead and cancel this is very similar to the add application but now the difference with this is actually that it imports the file and it imports its folder unlike when you add the application when you add the apps it only brings in the app and it brings it as if it's a fresh install installed app on the device but when you actually make use of um, add files it actually imports everything including the apk aps smp and it also imports everything including the folder you can notice where it says you can also import other things other um, file types or files such as pictures videos audios documents etc and the storage location um, after the import is slash sd imports and then inside the vmware so you can actually click on this and this is going to display the files on your phone now these are actually all of the files and images on my main phone and i can import any image let me go ahead and import this image by clicking on these two now click click select now you notice it says um, import may take some time you can check the details in import um, import record later click on ok and then you can click right here to see your import record you notice the import is successful now if i go right back and then go over to the gallery section um, it's not displaying yet but it's actually going to display eventually and if you can't find it there you can always go to your files and view your image guys right, so to see our imported image just go over to gallery now these are actually all my gallery image but guys a quick information when i imported this image i tried to view it on my gallery but i didn't find anything on my gallery so what i did was um i click on the uh icon right there you can see this icon right there and then um i shut down my vmware and when i shut down my vmware it restarted it shut down and i went to start it up again 
and there you go these are all of the images that i've copied so anytime you copied your images they are going to display or they might not display immediately so all you need to do is to restart the vmware and you are good to go shut it down and uh, start it up again so when you shut it down what it does it close the application um, you can flip like confirm that is not minimized on your main android device and then you close the application and then you open the application once more so that is actually how to import the application and also if you go to your contact area you will not be able to see all of your contacts but you can easily import your contact you can import them from your sim card or you can import them from your vcf file you know how to export file on your you can import that and get everything here and they are all going to be saved so guys if you want to actually do more settings for your vmware you can always come to click on the settings area and you are going to see everything you can see the wi-fi you can see the bluetooth is disabled enable that if you want to use it but i don't think there is any need for that scroll down a little bit you are going to see the applications that are installed all of these applications are installed on this device and when i mean this device i mean the vmware and also you can see your battery percentage and then compare it with your main battery percentage it should be the same okay uh, my main battery percentage is showing 72 and this is showing 73 so um, almost the same then and now you can see my uh, the average memory displaying and you can also come to the storage and you can see um, your application images video audio and others guys just know that anything that i said others it actually means everything on your device uh, because it actually doesn't display it like uh, other device so you can see the imported images they are all displaying right here let me go back so just like your mobile but this is quite a bit different the difference are not just much but then it still works very well and uh, you can also click on backup and reset to actually back up or you do a factory reset if that is what you want so whenever you want to switch to your main phone you can always like you notice when i was doing that drag your screen and it displays here but most times it used to be difficult so the best way to actually go about it is actually click on the vmware icon right there and you're going to see a lot of information you can either shut it down or you go to your mobile phone it takes you to the mobile phone click on uh, minimize option on your mobile device then it brings you to the vmware and you can also do um check your recent and you can also quickly import is the same application that is displaying right there let me just navigate back so um click on that area you can also switch your vmware what switch vmware means is actually if you decide to make use of a different android version you can always click on this plus icon hold on if you want to use a different vmware you can click on this plus icon right there and you can create a vmware now when you click on create a vmware you can now go ahead and download this particular one or you make use of this one that is coming soon but is not uh, going to allow you because it's not yet supported on this device so i can go ahead and download this one instead by clicking on download and uh, you notice it says about uh, 489 megabytes of data so i can click on downloads and the download will start but i actually want to pause the, this download because um right now i'm making use of my data and not my wi-fi so i'm going to say wait for wi-fi so um that is going to be paused and it's going to wait for the wi-fi so now um to actually change the menu you can always click this to minimize and it's going to display you if you have another vmware it's going to be displayed right here let me go ahead and add another vmware so that you know this is actually the one we are using okay i cannot add another one because this is the only one we have so guys um this is actually all you need to do and uh, if you want to subscribe to get even more feature you can go ahead and click on subscribe right here to subscribe and you are going to get even more feature but whenever you want to navigate or start using the application just come to the home page click on that arrow it's going to bring you to your vmware and you can start exploring and making use of the application and also you can also come to the vmware settings and then you can um, enable uh, google service i actually disabled that you enable the google service is going to restart 
and then it's going to actually allow you to install application freshly from the vmware actually most of the times i do not like to make use of that um enabling of the um, google service because obviously you have to sign in again to google play store this is google play store so you have to actually sign in to google play store because it sees that as a fresh application so everything guys please let me know if you have any question just about any question i'm going to be able to relate to it and then i'm going to be doing more videos and very relating to the vmware please let me know if there is any issue and guys i uh, will hopefully see you on my next video thank you guys for watching uh please stay safe and peace